What if India's population increases in 10 times? The increasing population is a severe concern, don't you think? What if India's population increases in 10 times of its current strength? Will we all be able to survive with no harm? Will it have any repercussions? Well, let's find the answer to this in this video. By 2024, India will slide past China into a densely populated country and prepare quickly for a rapidly changing economy. India is likely to hold that position in the middle of the 21st century. The population is 1.34 billion, about four times the increase since the country gained independence 70 years ago. India's population growth rate, now estimated at 15 million a year, is the world's largest. Do not forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel for more eye-opening updates. The long-term growth of the Indian population, especially the activity of fertility rates, is uncertain. The UN population speculation indicates a range of possible conditions. For example, if India's current birth rate of 2.3 billion per woman remains unchanged, the population will grow to 1.8 billion by 2050 and 2.5 billion by 2100. Even under the rapidly changing birth rate, the country's fertility will decrease quickly with 2.1 births per woman, India's population will reach 1.9 billion by the end of the century. A standard UN theory that predicts that Indian fertility will decline to a minimum by 2035 will result in 1.8 births per woman for decades to come. As a result, India's population will reach 1.7 million by 2060 before dropping to 1.5 million by 2100. The low rate takes a rapid decline in fertility to the quality of change, about 1.3 births per woman, which has led to the Indian population reaching 1.5 billion by about 2040 and falling to 900 million by 2100. Global growth, India is on track to become the world's most populous nation. While India's fertility declined to about half the rate after the 1980s, that trend may not continue. Over the past eight years, contraceptives have dropped by almost 35% as abortions and emergency contraceptives have doubled. Specifically, reliance on oral contraceptives, condoms, and vasectomies decreased by 30%, 52%, and 73%. In 2017, the Health Department launched a campaign to increase modern contraceptive methods, focusing on population stabilization in 146 high-fertility districts in seven states. With the prevalence of pregnancy in India at 52%, abortion has become a birth control for many women, especially those from low-income families. For decades, India has relied on female genital mutilation as a critical contraceptive method, financing some $4 million a year, more than any other country. In 2016, the government took significant steps to make the program more modern, introducing free injectable contraceptives to government institutions. The age-old structure also contributes to the growth of the Indian population. The average age in India is 27 years, compared with 38 years in China. Children under the age of 18 account for one-third of the Indian population compared to one-fifth of the Chinese community. However, due to declining fertility to imminent transition rates, the Indian population is also aging. The quantity of more old individuals matured 65 and over will double to 13% by 2050, and the number of older people working per adult is likely to drop from 11 to 5. India has made significant progress in lowering its mortality rates. Life expectancy at birth has increased from 44 years in the mid-1960s to 68 years today. India's mortality rate of 38 out of 1,000 births remains behind in China's 11th. Early marriage and pregnancy still contribute to mother's high mortality rate, and the life expectancy of Indian women is eight years less than that of their Chinese counterparts. Government policies affects population growth. Such cultures live in India, where the population is mostly rural compared to the urban Chinese population of 57%. People in urban areas often move faster to lower fertility rates. In part, India's urban growth rate will increase because of migration flow, especially for job-seeking youth. In the upcoming years, half of India's population, about 830 million people, are expected to become urban dwellers, challenging the government's ability to provide essential services and infrastructure. About one-fifth of the population remains without electricity. About half of India's children are malnourished. 
About two-thirds of them, vaccinated against diphtheria pertussis tetanus, compared with almost all of them in China. In India, tuberculosis accounts for more than a quarter of new cases reported worldwide, higher than in any other country. Immigration plays a small role in the growth of the Indian population. Nevertheless, India has a large immigrant population, with about 16 million Indians living abroad and millions more planning to emigrate. India is the world's largest revenue recipient, earning an average of about $70 billion annually in recent years. The country uses strict enforcement measures to prevent the entry of illegal immigrants, especially those from Bangladesh. Despite high growth rates, the forecast will exceed 7% by 2017, with profits not dropping for many Indians. Despite India's vast middle class, many struggle to obtain necessities. India strives to create enough jobs for its growing working age population. Over the next two decades, the number of working people will increase by more than 200 million. More than 30% of Indians aged 15 to 30 are unemployed either in education and training, which is more than double the OECD rate and almost three times that of China. At the same time, Indian businesses are reporting a shortage of skilled workers. In addition to its efforts to create labor regulations for job creation, the government must invest in education and skills training. Beware of automation and new technologies that alter workplace productivity and redefine employees' role. Academic and business leaders recommend major rethinking of university courses and training programs. India ranks sixth in AI research literature, between 2011 and 2015, but has no strategic policies. India claims more than 6 million humanity. If national fertility rates do not change, the population may double to 2.5 billion by 2100. Government must emphasize family planning while improving the health and well-being of girls and women, or maintain high levels of economic growth and meet the growing aspirations of its billions of citizens. It is mainly about population explosions with many adverse effects. It increases the level of pollution, causes environmental losses, and contributes to global warming. Not only this, but overcrowding has serious health consequences. Here are some health threats they cause. Read again, half the world's population experiences air pollution. Let's discuss the real causes of effects of the increase in India's population by 10 times. Rising risk of infection airborne diseases spread easily and quickly to people who are overweight. Urban sprawl and environmental changes due to the overuse of human resources can lead to various infectious diseases. Also, antimicrobial resistance can lead to severe and life-threatening issues. Rise in cases of water-borne diseases Large numbers of people are already dying every day as a result of exposure to polluted water. Consider the situation 10 years later when population growth increases, leading to a further shortage of clean water. How will we be able to feed so many people and provide clean water? Sullied water is probably the most straightforward way for germs to spread rapidly in stuffed individuals. The use of such water can take a variety of lives. Contaminated air and increased risk of respiratory problems The explosion of people led to increased use of vehicles and buildings construction, which led to toxic air growth. It will gradually affect your respiratory system, and you may be suffering from asthma, congestion, and chest pain. Decreased air quality can also cause inflammation of the throat and cardiovascular diseases etc. Increase in cancer cases Social explosions have a profound effect on global warming and are depleting the Earth's ozone layer. If they continue to be harmful, ozone will not protect us from deadly and damaging sunlight. It can cause skin cancer, premature aging, blindness, eye disease, and damage to the immune system. Overpopulation is a significant threat to our health. The entire world needs to address this issue and not only a couple of nations. The total populace is expanding, predominantly because of clinical advances and the expansion in agricultural creation. Countries like Brazil, China, and India add a lot to their plight by ignoring population growth. The effects of population growth are a challenge that the world will soon face. Drinking water, sanitation, insufficient rainfall, rapid depletion of natural resources, extinction of many plants and animals due to deforestation and loss of species, increased pollution levels and life-threatening water, high infant and child mortality due to extreme poverty are some of the consequences. Did this video help you? 
What is your opinion about the learning you had today from the video? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Also, keep in mind subscribing to our channel to stay tuned with upcoming mysterious videos every week.